This video is for section 7.6. It's on sine and cosine. We're going to solve for angle measures using sine and cosine. Yeah. Sorry about that. Remember how sine and cosine are defined. So Katoa helps you remember that. We have a right triangle. We want this angle measure. This leg is opposite. That's the hypotenuse. Opposite and hypotenuse tell you that you're going to use sine. The angle is what you don't know. That's what you're trying to find. So that's why the x goes there. The opposite is 8. The hypotenuse is 11. You get x by itself the same way you did with tangent. To get x alone, you need to do the inverse sine of both sides. So we're doing inverse sine of 8 elevenths. And this is going to give you an angle measure. Hit the second button on your calculator. And then hit the sine button. So you get inverse sine. 8 divided by 11 gives me 46.66 degrees. A lot of times you're not going to come up with a whole number angle measure. It's going to be some type of decimal. And so X is that number. You didn't need to put the degrees on it because the degrees are already in there in the picture. Let's find the value of Y. It's a right triangle. This is our adjacent leg. This is our hypotenuse. Adjacent hypotenuse means cosine. So cosine of the angle that you want is equal to 8.5 divided by 25.3. You want to get y by itself, so you do inverse cosine of both sides. And this will be our angle measure. If we're judging by appearances here, which you really shouldn't do, that's the short leg. So this angle is probably going to be bigger than 45. Inverse cosine, 8.5 divided by 25.3. Again, make sure that you're typing this into your calculator or your phone or whatever you're using, and you're getting these same answers. Because if you aren't, then obviously something is going wrong. You need to make sure you know how to type it in so you get the same answer because your phone probably is going to operate the same as your calculator. 